uh, we're going to talk about pro gaming in Europe. Yeah. So as we all know, and most of the people are here from Europe, I think. Yeah. So <laughs> there we go. Um, we all know that Hearthstone is. Uh, it started uh, with Blizzard. Uh, starts in America often, but in Europe we also have a really, really uh, big player base, and uh, that's kind of the topic because we are both from Europe. Uh, we also wanted to talk about today. Yeah. Um, Hearthstone is a very interesting game because it's a solo game. You only rely on yourself to perform. You don't need to find four other teammates or five other teammates that are in the same country whom you can practice with. Mm -hmm. You can just open the mobile phone or computer mm -hmm. and just play a game at any time and become better just uh, putting time yourself and investing that time into becoming better in the game. Mm -hmm. And I think that's a really cool uh, thing that uh, makes Hearthstone uh, so special. And I'm very glad for that because it doesn't really matter what country you're from. If you are good and you put in the time, you can probably mm -hmm. achieve something that you want in a solo game way easier than in a team game. Yeah, what we have now with Hearthstone, but also with all other games that we are playing, everything happens online, or most of the things are starting online. So it really, um, whatever country you're from, where your city you live, as long as you have a decent internet collection, that's kind of important. Uh, I, you all have a really good chance of like uh, spending your time on the game or on uh, what you want to do. Yeah, in Romania we have really good internet <laughs> and I think that helped a lot. Like uh, everybody has super great internet and uh, yeah, like if you don't have good internet you cannot really stream and that's uh, an impediment already because like to become popular you also have to like show yourself to others. and. Um, I, I think internet connection makes a big portion of it. In the Netherlands, it's also good, right? Yeah, yeah. Like in general, it's pretty good. I think uh, for in general, I think uh, if you want to start like competing and also just competing in, in Europe, I think what first really matters is results. Like you need to get some results out. You need to get your name uh, just on the board, on the trophy, in open tournaments. That has to be like a little bit of the start to to get your name out yourself. I remember when I I before Hearthstone, I didn't really. I was casually playing games, but before Hearthstone, I didn't do anything super serious in gaming. Then I started uh, looking at Hearthstone, and I was like, hey, I just enjoyed it. Let's start a tournament. I started some open tournaments, and somehow I ma managed to just win five in a row. And from there on, I got to different tournaments, but that is how it also all just started for me. Um, remember when we met? Like we met before you won the tournaments. Like even before that, we both decided to like go to a tournament uh, called Dreamhack Summer. And uh, there, I was approached by Ties, and it was Ignite, uh, yeah. who we just got into talk with. Like we are nobodies. We are just like some random players just playing the tournament and yeah. enjoying it. And then we got to know each other. And after the tournament, uh, they convinced me to join uh, the team. Our first team was called Meteor Makers. We didn't have like the greatest deal. We were still like inexperienced uh, with the team, and uh, we were just learning. It was everything new. Like we were new to the game. To the it was a brand new world mm -hmm. that we were discovering. And uh, then that was just like the beginning of the journey. Afterwards, uh, uh, skip forward a couple tournaments, a lot of open cups. Ty is doing the Zotac and King of the Hill performances. Uh, me also playing some online tournaments. Uh, streaming a little bit, very few hours uh, back in the day. We are mostly focusing on like tournaments. Uh, then uh, we got a once in a lifetime opportunity to join uh, Team Nihilum with uh, Lothar and Life Coach, and that was uh, life changing, right? Kind of. That's how it started. Yeah, like uh, once we uh, joined Nihilum and afterwards we went together to G2 when they uh, uh, went together. I think that was one of the biggest. Um, yeah, biggest pushes for us, we were known, but that was really a good push. Now we are like at an just international, one of the best teams in the world. Um, it really put us on the spotlights. We, were in, we are getting spots in uh, tournaments and in team tournaments. So that really helped us even growing much more. And what is also really was just really nice for both of us. We did it as a hobby. It was kind of like a job with all the prize money that was around, but we could really make it like our life. And we were just able to spend 40 hours a a week just on what we wanted to do, play Hearthstone. Yeah, once Hearthstone grew, it was way easier for us to also invest more time into Hearthstone and make it our full-time profession. And uh, a lot of people don't really understand the aspect of dedication. Like, uh, they assume that, uh, I don't know, you can have like a job and also like stream and also compete. That's very hard. Like, you have to make Hearthstone your full-time profession if you want to get uh, to the level of exposure that we are at, I think. If you want to be a, like a professional gamer, you also have to like sacrifice a lot. Um, 
like you and your colleague and a guy from the other side of the, uh, the world, they are working as hard as you probably. But you sometimes just need to work even a step harder. And for me, that came a lot with sacrifices too. I wanted to spend all my time on Hearthstone. Cole spent less time with friends. Cole spent less time with, uh, with other things I was interested in. But I still f am super happy that I'm doing that. And now I'm doing great things too that come with it. And um, so it's not always an easy life. But it's a life that I love to do and I chose for. Also, the schedule is pretty packed. Like, for example, a lot of people that have a normal job, they just go to the job, they think of the job when they are at the job, and then when mm -hmm. they leave, they just do other things, hobbies, they spend time with their family, friends, uh, girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever. You're never done. <laughs> with, with, with Hearthstone, you wake up, you like think about Hearthstone, then you like stream some Hearthstone, and then you like play some more Hearthstone after you finish streaming because you also want to keep up uh, with the meta game at the highest level and compete, like maybe you want to play some ladder off stream. For, like, especially if you're ties, uh, you play meme decks on stream, afterwards you want to play some serious decks off stream to get some ranks and they're back. they're not always that bad, okay? Like, <laughs> have you guys never wondered how Thais always starts the stream with like a good rank and then like ends it with a bad rank? And then the next day he's back at the good rank. Uh, uh, what deck do you guys uh, think he plays off stream? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sometimes taking a little bit of serious decks, not going to lie about that one. But uh, th th yeah, that's a hard part for me to combine as streaming for me is, um, is really important and something I love. I love to have interactions with all the viewers. I love to try new decks a lot, but if I want to have it also combined with competing, I also still need to perform well. So lately also playing multiple servers, something we both do. Uh, we, both, we think Europe is one of the hardest regions. Uh, we have the most players. We have a lot of dedicated people that want to try. So it's really hard in Europe, and that's why we also chose. Uh, I don't think everybody has that luxury, um, but we chose also for to compete in other regions to get points for the championships. Yeah, I, I think to say more about Thais, I think he's like the hardest working person that I know. Mm -hmm. He has days where he streams, I don't know, nine, ten hours. And then he also plays a bit of stream on Asia afterwards with like almost no break, maybe just a little bit to eat. Mm -hmm. And then maybe I have a tournament and I message him like, hey Thais, do you feel well? Can you like help me with this lineup? What do you think? And he doesn't, he doesn't go like, oh, I'm so tired. He goes like, yeah, sure, show me the lineup. Mm -hmm. Like he has like endless amounts of energy uh, and uh, I really appreciate him for that. And it's an aspect that a lot of people don't see. Like people uh, see him when he, when he streams and maybe they expect him to do other things when he's not streaming. Well, mm -hmm. that's not how he is. He's like fully dedicated and a really hard worker. Uh, that, that's... <laughs> Uh, well that's, uh, I think that's also really important in the team aspect because I could not do as much as I now do and you probably had the same if we had not like such close relationship in the team together. Like you put me every time on the spot where I, you trigger me to compete as much as I can still. And that's also why really yeah, important. That's also why I'm really happy that we now got Nerea and the team again. You guys keep really pushing me for competing competitively and together we push each other. Sometimes maybe a little too far here and there, but we push it, we keep pushing each other and that keeps us both like driving. Yeah, I think it's very important to have uh, somebody that motivates you, somebody that you can kind of uh, compete in a friendly manner to just both or all three of you get better. So that's why I think uh, teams are quite important, or maybe not mm -hmm. teams, maybe just groups of players that are in the same region and that function on the same time zones, that you can just message at uh, your time that you're uh, awake at and uh, get some feedback, get some uh, information that uh, you can use for a tournament or just uh, basic stuff like, hey, do you keep uh, Raza in that matchup? <laughs> Uh, often. <laughs> I think He's it's pretty, pretty good, good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, but yeah, in general, um, it's also just working on yourself can be in a later aspect really important. Like, it's still a little bit uh, in, uh, more, in Hearthstone more, but in every game important, get your name out. And uh, for us, what is also really important is uh, just social branding, um, get your, just know you're there, people following you, try to interact a lot of with, your, uh, with people around that also play the game. And yeah, with more you are stronger together. So for also finding that can be really good. I used to not be so good at social media. I think I got like a little bit better recently. Like I even created an Instagram account, which by the way, you can follow. <laughs> RDU.HS, <laughs> sorry. Um, uh, sorry. Um, Nevia, for example, isn't uh, that good at social media either. And we keep pressing him like, man, tweet more, tweet more. It's a very important aspect of trying to become a personality to also be more active on your social medias. And uh, I'm trying as much as I can to like always find some funny tweets or just uh, put a nice photo up, just let uh, people know what uh, I'm doing. Because even though I might not feel that uh, they care, 
uh, some people actually get motivated by me posting, for example, when I'm practicing, or Lothar going to the gym, or <laughs> something like that. Yeah, I think it's just really important, like, if you really, at the end, look at the first steps, if you want to, like, compete, if you want to be a competitor in Europe, like, uh, it starts at the end with the results. In other games, even more. Um, Hearthstone is still, like, you can do it in other ways. But at the end, if you are a competitor, you need to, like, win something, and then you need to make smart moves. You need to, like, make good use of it. Post your deck list, uh, make a threat here and there, uh, play some more, and maybe go to another tournament. For now, I think the HCT Tour is one of the best ways to get you out. You see now 16 players here. Some of you might know, some of you might have known a little bit less, but it is a great way to, to get your name out. But I will warn you, it's a hard way and a hard work to do it. Yeah. Anything else or this is covering everything? No, I think it's a good couple, especially now also seeing like these matches. You, are, you have like players that are now, the 16 players that have competed, uh, they have worked the whole year for it. Um, really, the world will yet like to qualify themselves, and now they play for a million prize pool. If you're any like want to try, you can always like uh, try here and there on the ladder or try to get some points. But yeah, it's not going to be easy. But yeah, we have uh, had uh, we have had a great time. It's with worth it, it basically. For, uh, yeah, we are really yeah. happy with what we did. So that well, was it, guys. I hope you uh, liked some background story. Thank you very much. Enjoy the tournament.